What's up, Roy boys, bees? Yeah, these things always start slow. See what happens. What am I working on? Nothing right at the moment. <clears throat> I need to be... I need to be working on cleaning the shop is what I need to be doing. But... That's not fun. Well, it is slow. We got three of three people watching. Where's everybody at? It's Tuesday night, I guess. I guess we could do some axe maintenance while we're sitting here. Doing nothing. I know what that bag is. Have to go stack firewood. Well, that sounds like fun. We're down to one person watching. Back up to two. Deer season Ohio starts Friday in Indiana. It's still buffering? I don't think it's still buffering. I think there's a delay. It says there's nobody watching. And I just got three comments. This technology needs work. That look crooked. How's that? That looks straight. What's up, Mr. Brian Two Bears? Let's clean the surface rust off of this axe. Because it's driving me nuts. It's driving me bonkers. You were about to answer the spectacle questions when you went out. It, they're, no, they're the same ones I've been rocking for years, Doug. I, just, I guess you just didn't see them. I don't wear them all the time. Only when it's important. Like reading your guys' comments. That's important. Rust be gone. Rust be gone. Saw a question there. What grade, what grade wool has four aught? Four aught steel wool. It's my favorite. I keep that stuff on hand all the time. I use it for everything. Cleaning glass, <clears throat> cleaning axes, finishing axe handles. Just, it's a never ending list. Someday I should rehang this axe. It's a good splitter. It's a big old crack right there.
I'm surprised it. I'm surprised it holds up really. Oh, this handle's really checked real bad. I'll get a, all the checks in that thing. That is the same pattern as the uh, Norlin log splitter. <sighs> exact same X. <laughs> but this one is, I believe this one's a Collins. And this one's a Norlin, which is proof. Well, not proof, that, not that we need proof, but both made by Man Edge Tool Company. Uh, yes, Doug, it's a rafter. What's up, Justin? Good for blued guns without hammering a booing. Yes, I have used it on guns before. I always have a hard time rehanging an axe that has a nice dark old handle like that. I have quite a few that should be wrong hung. Yeah, I'll probably... I'll probably just keep running this thing like it is. I mean, it's not ideal. The handle's kind of thick in, anyway. It's not really my my particular flavor. But this thing does work. I use it like this. Um, I guess if it broke, it's just splitting wood. I mean... I don't know how bad that could end up. I guess it wouldn't be no big deal. Yeah, we'll put a couple coats of Killinger snake juice on her. Should put an edge on that thing. Yeah, why not? Let's put some snake juice on it. Um What's up, Mr. Duke? From Southern Ohio. Best part of Ohio right there. My idea of light coats. All right, let's... Can you guys see? You guys can see that, huh? That's, this is just the uh, tubble towels. I use these for everything. They work great. Grab the old. Killinger snake juice. Give it a good shaking. So all the magic is well mixed. And we shall do a light coat of Killinger snake juice.
boy, that thing's soaking it right in there. So basically just put it on and rub it in real good. Little dab will do ya. Got a handle that's real dry like this one, a couple coats. You get up here on the shoulder. I just now realized the grain orientation of this handle's wrong. <laughs> it can't exist. It's wrong. It can't exist. Give a little, little bit to the head. Now, if you're gonna cut food with your axe, I wouldn't recommend this. Not food grade. But if you're not cutting any food, you can use this stuff on your metal. Thin layer, though. You don't want to gob it on there. It'll just gum up. Thin layer. Give a little dab up here. Whoops. A little dab in there. Oh yeah, look at that. Helps bring her back around. I split wood tomorrow. I might use this thing again. I do like this thing. It's a good splitter. Four, four and a half pounds somewhere around there. Oops. Don't waste this. There she is, ready for its next battle, nice and clean and shiny. It wouldn't hurt to hit the handle a couple more times with some snake juice. Setting it up like that because I put all that oil in the eye. Don't want to lose that. Here we go. 
Uh, beautiful day here. Yeah, it was beautiful up here. What's the question would you have? Snake Jesus for folks that only like awesome things. Like Sound Wax Hop, Mr. K. This is my first live with you. Governor, as you wish, I will comply. <laughs> I've always been particular to steel, but I'll use any good chainsaw. MS400. I've heard good things about that MS400. There's a reason for putting it on head just protect, or does it also create patina? Ryan, it's just to protect the head from uh, rust. Um, you'll get patina just from using your axes. Like that head had some surface rust on it. Well, when you clean that surface rust off, there's patina under it. Doesn't it? It doesn't take it back to shiny metal. These three different varieties, Mr. Duke. Machine saws. Be quiet, honey. They can hear you talking. Glorious. What did you say that head was? Besides being a four pound after, after it, I believe it's Collins. What's up, Hotbox Beach Truck? Brother of the Brush. Is that right? Brother of the Brush PA. What's up, man? I believe that's a Collins made by Man Edge. Four and a half ish. That snake juice smells amazing, guys. Just so you know. clean this up I don't know why I I don't like this axe <laughs> this Holtz Brooks splitting axe it's it's no good in hardwood I care what anyone says maybe it's good in Sweden but it, it doesn't work it just doesn't work good concept It doesn't work. Is that like a giant tick? It's good at killing ticks. I think that was a giant tick. Anyways. Let's clean this one up. So I can hang it back on the wall. I want to like this axe. It's it's a nice forged axe. It just it's not good for hardwood, and that's all I have. There is no softwood. I don't know how these get so rusty. Oh, that's right. They sat underneath the deck. Well, that's covered though. But it, either way, that's that's why I was using them. They sat out. The way the handle feels, it feels like it's never had any oil on it ever. It probably hasn't. A little overstrike. We'll fix that up real quick. No one will ever know, except for you 12 people watching, no one's going to know.
There's a caution safety message here. Let me get rid of that. Probably says don't use in hardwood. We'll never know. I guess that brings up a good point. Don't be afraid to use your stuff. You can always clean it up, make it look new again. Unless it's really valuable, don't then don't use it. Unless you really want to. piece of steel wool. Done done with the welfare. Done with the welfare wool. So kind of a pro tip, uh, we just wipe this down with one of those damp rags so that actually raises the grain. What that means, it makes the grain uh, feel rough, like porous. I don't even know how to explain it, I'm not a woodworker. but. Then when you hit it with the steel wool, it makes it ultra smooth. I put moderate pressure on it too. You can feel, you feel the grains rough. And as I rub it with the steel wool, it gets smooth. Hardest part right here. This handle's a little thick too. It could take, it could use some thinning, some slimming. spot right there must be ash let's put some magic sauce on it this will darken way up
increase the value of this axe. I like heaven. Honestly, it smells like a campfire. If you're wondering what a snake juice smells like, it smells like a campfire. I guess we'll give the sheath enough little attention. Not a fan of the sheath design, but it works. I guess it's better than nothing. Got to get the old open offs. Best leather protector on the planet. Just rub it in a little bit and then we'll rub it in with our fingers. We. I, there's nobody in my pocket. <laughs> Give it a good, ooh. So I think one of those rivets is loose. Give it a good rub. that string a little bit. Uh-oh. Oh no. Don't do that again. When you rub the open off to the heat of your fingers works it into the leather, it kind of evaporates into the leather. And then when it's completely dry, you can buff it to a nice sheen if you want.
That's it. That is Axe Maintenance 101. Little side tip, don't leave your rag crumpled up in a ball to dry, could spontaneously combust. I warned you. You've been warned. What a miss. Alright. Uh goodness. You guys were talking a lot. Okay. I'm going to catch up on these comments. Um... There's a stink bug there. Yeah, we got the stink bugs too, but this it literally looked like a ginormous tick. Uh, did anyone see the video I posted this morning? Not sure if I saw that. We're going to start with showing off axes today. All the East Coasters should go right in for not a decent jersey. I don't... Did Wrangler start upload a video? I got 45 of those darn things today. And one cup filled with Dawn soap and water. Kills them quick. Ooh, good, good tip. Uh, what grit? That was um, 120. 120 grit. Uh, it's like a shop roll. Twenty grit. I think I buy this at um, supergrit.com. Super handy. I use that stuff for everything. It's not great for metal. All kind of abrasive. Mr. Duke has all the brands, but I'm uh, partial to Domar. Keystone's hardware accent that has George Washington boss apparently super rare. I can't find anything on it. That does sound super rare. Oh, he's a English sire. Josie sounds like garbage. I'll take it off your hands. <laughs> Someone who wants to learn what not to do. Is anyone buying ammo having trouble finding it? Uh, the last time I was in a store that had ammo, which was recently, they had tons of ammo, but the prices had not come down. Sounds so West Coast. I went Wrangler Pro Rodeo, lots of stories there. 100% found a flea market, what's the value, any guess? That axe is worth whatever you were willing to pay for it. Self-proclaimed professional homeowner. Snake juice snakes. It does make... Jeremy Weaver in the house. What's up, man? Snake juice does make axes split better. Whatever someone's willing to pay its value. I'd go over 500 for sure. Just got back from picking up the kids from practice. Resting for a little bit. I could watch axes get cleaned and finished all day and night. I used to be like that. I, I spent a lot of time with axes. Jokes aside, last time I saw Cody swing an axe, he was attempting to fell a small softwood with Amazon's most expensive racing axe. He almost passed out after six swings. Seriously. I saw that video as well. It was awful. Sam 
Snake juice has been independently certified to heighten one's actual ex, actual yeah ex, actual experience. What's up, Bruce Arney? The one the only time I watch Cody is when I need a good laugh. Better patent that phrase. Yeah, that that was good. I have a rivet loose on my GBA scanning force axe sheath. It passed. It's pressed together for now. Snow steel. I have never used snow steel. Um, I've always used uh, open offs, and it, it it's literally the best leather protectant in the world. There's no chemicals in it. I know snow steel. Um, I've smelled it before. It's got like a chemical smell to it. This is all natural. Beeswax, whatever, different waxes and oils. Uh, you could eat it if you wanted to. You could eat it. It smells good enough to eat. Whoo! It's the best. Um, how you getting there, Pat F? How's it going? Thank you, sir. 120. Here we're going to the Paul Bunny show in Ohio. I'll be there Friday. If I'm planning on being there Friday, my car's probably going to break down on the way down there, but the parts won't be here to fix it till Friday. So. I was hoping they were going to be here. Like, I ordered them a week ago. I, I don't understand why it, it takes a week for the parts to get here. Anyways, whatever. I'll be there Friday. Loving the beard, though. I'm not growing a beard, believe it or not. I'm just too lazy to shave. Now, that may turn into a beard. But... Um, I'm not growing one. Oh. There's a lot of work to do out here in this shop. I need to get back to my shop. Another winter. I'm still not insulated. And I still have my wood stove hooked up. I've been waiting three months for an engine harness. I mean, I know that Jeremy, I know obviously we're both mechanics, so we know. Like, I know there's parts that are hard to get right now, and I know stuff's on back order. And, and but like the parts I ordered literally said in stock. So I don't understand what the holdup is. I like it. Shave your head. Well, I usually do shave my head, obviously. Well. Because I can't grow any hair on top of my head. Any cool axe restorations lately? Nothing. I just haven't had time. I bought a... Um, <clears throat> I bought an outdoor uh, wood burner. Uh, the house used to have one. So all the plumbing is there. The All the stuff is there. Uh, just the wood burner was not the previous owner two previous owners ago took it with them uh, Look out ever since we bought this place for a wood burner. I was gonna buy And new ones are very expensive. They're like ten thousand and <clears throat> I can heat my house for about five years for ten grand so it's a bit of a you know, After five years it's paid for now you're obviously you're getting a return on your investment, but uh, I was prepared to do that though because with the amount of wood I have here, um, and the fact that I like to cut firewood, it just made sense. But I found a used one um, this summer, and it's a it's an older version that will burn. It doesn't have any of the new EPA stuff in it. It just it'll just burn whatever if it'll fit in the door. You'll it'll burn. Um, and I, from what I hear, you don't the wood. Ha it's not real particular about how um, seasoned your wood is or any of that other stuff. Although I believe if you season your wood, you'll get more efficiency out of it. So I'm my goal is to still season my firewood. I don't I don't see any reason why why not to. But anyways, I got that, and then. Uh, 
I've been slowly working on getting that installed. Well, then my back was messed up for about three weeks. So that stopped all progress of anything. So I'm caught up now. Uh, back's all better. Back to getting things done around here. I got the concrete poured and the area filled, back filled in. Are all, it's all ready to go. I think tomorrow I'll set the stove in place. Um, I, can't, I probably won't pour it for another or not pour. I probably won't fill the stove with water for another week or two. Um, I want to wait until that concrete's good and cured before I put that much weight on it. And then, uh, but in the meantime, I can get things hooked up. Uh, it, sh it should be pretty straightforward. There's a couple fittings and then electric, all that's right there at the concrete pad. I just got to plug it in, adapt it, how, whatever it takes to make everything connect to each other. And then, uh, then I got to figure out how I'm going to operate it because I'm not real <laughs> sure on how I'm going to do that. So I, that takes me back to the axe restorations. I just haven't had time. Summertime is really tough for me to get time in the shop. There's a lot to do around here. A lot, a lot to mow, a lot to weed eat. Uh, there's constantly trees to pick up. And um, I've had a lot of just... Uh, side projects just takes up my time so i like to be outside in the summer and then in the winter that'll be that'll free up more time for axe restorations i got a bunch to do there's some really cool heads sitting here i got a great idea for another themed axe um i got all the material here for it i just got to do it Um, going to Paul Bunyan was going to go Saturday, but the man is going Friday, so I don't know now. Might go both days. <laughs> Three day beard reduces my ugly 23%. That was awesome. Oh, was awesome. What was awesome? I'll be there Friday, Saturday. You got to hit me up, Lyle. I obviously don't know what you look like. I'm hoping a Husqvarna follows me home. I wouldn't be there too far. I needed to work. Good country living in the house. Good to see you. Good thought process. Too busy playing with goats. Yeah, that too. Those goats are something. We spent a couple hours today out in the woods with the goats. I, or I did. I guess when I say we, I mean me and the goats. They, they're amazing animals, man. They just, they love you. They, they want to be right where you are. Yeah. Homesteading. Anyone else going to Paul Bunyan show in Ohio this weekend? Hello. Good country. Sounds great. Doug. I'll do your Instagram. Oh, the shaved head. Planning to go Friday. Not set in stone yet. Mr. Bruce Arney. Oh, I am beat. I'm on vacation this week. So that means I'm working my butt off here to uh, get things done. Of course, today I kind of took it easy. I did work on the mower, took the goats for a hike. That's about it. That's about all I did. I, it was a, It was a short day, really. Oh, I mowed after I fixed the mower. Get all the goats home. Yep, they went right back in. Followed me right back up to the barn. Actually, once we started walking towards the barn, they, they took off and went to the barn. I think they were thirsty. Tom Brady. I got Bruce's phone number on speed dial, Doug. Oh. I've never been to the Paul Bunyan show. I don't even know what to expect. I guess I'm going to go there and drool over all the equipment I can't afford. Let's see all those amazing logs I'll never own. I shouldn't say never. Someday I might own one, but 
no time. I have too many other things that I need. I may break down and buy a uh, big box store log splitter. I really like the county line. Two weeks ago, I went to cut a, went with my son to cut a lawn, and a chainsaw followed me home. Those are good days. I will not miss mowing. Come on, fall. I don't mind mowing. I get beat up pretty bad here, though, at this property. Um, I bought this zero turn a few years ago. Well, it's been more than a few now, and uh, it's a good mower. It really, it really changed things for me because the last place we were at, we had two acres. I used to mow it with like a. I don't know, lawn boy or whatever it was. It's just a, like a little riding tractor. And it took me hours <laughs> to mow. And then I and then I picked up the zero turn I have now 45 minutes. But that was all cut smooth and straightforward and not a lot of trees. And it was pretty easy mowing. Out here, the ground's pretty rough. So I'm mowing probably about the same amount um, of grass, maybe a little, little bit more, but it, uh, it's just so rough. The best part of my lawn is uh, over by my, my one pond that I re, redid it a couple years ago. Has it been? Well, not maybe last year. Was it last year? Oh, there's a video on my channel where I said, Something like I destroyed my lawn or something like that. And that's when I redid all that. But I smoothed it all out, raked it, or box bladed it smooth and level. And it it's easy to mow that. But the rest of this, whoo, beat you up. Could use an upgraded mower. Brendo's Outdoor Power Equipment Repairs and Service. Speaking of new mowers, <laughs> good timing. Plus one on the county line. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't look like a bad splitter, really. For um, there's still a couple grand, but I don't know. Um, I go back and forth with the log splitter. I mean, I can split wood by hand. It's it's not that big of a deal for me. I mean, it takes a little longer. I would argue, though, in some cases, it's faster. But. Um, my biggest holdup with log splitters is I can't, I can't stand to sit there and pull a lever and then wait forever for it to split and then pull the lever and wait forever for it to, to retract. It just that cycle time drives me insane. I've used log splitters before and I just want to crawl out of my skin waiting for that cycle time, you know, and the, obviously the pro log splitters are much faster, but they're also Two, three times the amount of money. Yeah, I have a Toro ZX series. Uh, what the heck was that noise? Um, what is it, a 60 inch deck? Uh, it's just a, when I bought it, it was just like a, a gray below commercial. So there's no suspension or anything. It did have some features about it that were commercial like. But looking back on it, I wish I would have gone with a commercial mower that had a, at least a uh, suspension seat. I found a vintage handle in the trash recently. It says Cumberland. Nice. Wall hanger. Perhaps because she grew a goatee. I used to years before I had a real long goatee. It's been years now. Could you ever go back to a tractor that doesn't have a cab? No. No. I'm spoiled. I just I don't even uh I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know why you would. Um I, I honestly, I wouldn't mind having a second tractor here to, for certain things. And budget-wise, I, I probably wouldn't buy another what I have, another cab tractor. It would probably be a, 
I actually, I wish I could have kept my four to eight in. I could have, I just didn't, I don't have anywhere to store it. So that's why I sold it. I didn't want it to sit outside and just rot away. So maybe someday when I have a, a barn, I might buy another eight in or something like that. And then I could, I could suffer a little bit, you know, probably hook, use it to brush hog or something, but I don't know. I was out in the woods yesterday with my brush hog and I'm trying to open up some trails and I got in some pretty, pretty sticky stuff. And had I not had four wheel drive, I'd have been stuck. So I don't know, but no plowing snow this winter with a cab out here in the summer with the cab and the AC blowing. That's what I should do is just buy a finish mower for my tractor. The problem is, is the tractor's not any smoother. Um, it, it's, it's decent, but it's not, it's not like it's a, a super smooth ride. Plus, I wouldn't be able to get the tractor up here around the woods and stuff. TY, TYM Customs in the house. Guys, go check them out. TYM Customs. I just did a video not too long ago. I put that toolbox on my tractor. It is amazing. I can't tell you how happy I am with that product. Um, super good dude. Made in America. Very smart. Very in in uh, uh, inventive. I, that toolbox is super slick. It comes right off. You pull a pin. It comes right off. You take it wherever you need to go. Nice size. It's like an ammo can. Size of an ammo can. And it's waterproof. I don't know if they advertise it as being waterproof, but mine's waterproof at least. Um, I have it on my tractor. I don't take it off. It sits outside. We've had rainstorms since I put it on. Nothing inside is wet. Long way to send it. I'm still running three-point finish mower behind the tractor. Yeah, my neighbor runs a, a finished mower, but he's wide open. Like, there's no trees around his house. It's it's just wide open grass. 30-ton yard max ordered through Costco was the deal. Nice. Peter Woolworth, welcome to the show. I split all my wood because I'm stupid, but damn, I'm in shape. <laughs> Tim Pins and then your shoulders and back can handle it as well during cycle time. I grab wood or toss it. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot to be said for that. You know, if you're, um, if you got any any physical issues at all, you know, log splitter is going to be key. I don't know what that noise was. Is that my air conditioning taking a poop? Probably. Hand split as much as my body wants than the old splitter. Hey, Mark. Mark is in the house. What's up, Mark? Uh, Caden's Outdoor Life. Good to see you too, buddy. Go a Massey. Mark sends in a super chat. An early birthday present. Thank you, Mark. We appreciate that. We'll uh, we'll buy the goats some more treats. <laughs> Wait till after rain and roll the mower areas to help smooth out the mowing. I have. It's not. It's not that the. It's the ground that's rough. It's that there's uh, tree roots everywhere. The box holds sand tools in a six pack. Yeah, you could definitely throw a six pack in there. If I won the lottery, I'd get an excavator. Yeah, I think we all would. That'd be great. Nice excavator. I'd like to have an esc I'd like to have a nice excavator and a uh, bobcat, or not a bobcat, but a skid steer. Not necessarily bobcat brand, just a skid steer. I don't know what brand I'd go with. I'd actually, oh, I actually have to go shopping. I'd have to look at them if money was no object. 
I was thinking about that with my tractor. If 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 I could afford afford any any tractor, what would I buy? And I I don't know. I mean that that RK tractor has been really good and it's done everything I needed it to do. And I mean, what more do you want? It's got almost three hundred hours on it. I I really haven't had any issues with it. I mean. At the end of the day, that's all that matters. Who oh, was K6 Steneho backhoe? Great for tree work. Yeah. A mini excavator with a, with a hydraulic thumb would be key. Smack that like button. Are we taking axe handle to the fire pit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hit that like button. Are we taking axe handle to the fire pit? Cat. Probably. I love cat. Too many toys. If I want a ladder, I'd buy a new a hole. Mine has a crack in it. <laughs> we are also coming out with a 14 can cooler holder. Oh, I'm in. I, I need a 14 can cooler holder. You super glue. Get in there. Do you guys remember the, um, some of you guys, uh, road four-wheelers remember putting six pack racks on your four-wheeler like most four-wheelers come with like a i guess they call it a wheelie bar but usually grab a hold of it to pick the, the bike up to put in a truck or something but we would swap those out with six pack racks and then you get those little square six pack coolers would fit right down in them so you go riding and when your six pack was gone it's time to come back to camp and get more beer i miss some days I just sold my case skids. Your tractor's way more versatile. No, well, you might have had a three wheeler. Three wheelers could have had them too. What? Yo! Stink bug. Get out of here. I uh, need to send you a picture. What am I making with the back of the thumb? Oh! I'm tired. Sleepy. How do I like that RK37? I love it. I was just talking about it. It's a great tractor. I mean, um, I, di I didn't know anything about RK tractors when I first started looking at tractors. And I totally dismissed them. I didn't even give them a thought. Um, <clears throat> I didn't really believe... I didn't know anything about them, so I, I really just thought uh, I was just some cheap crap Royal King was selling. But then I started uh, watching Outdoor with the Morgans. Obviously, at the time they were uh, they were running RK tractors on their property, and I just started. They put them on my radar, so I started researching them and found out the TYM Customs make them. Um, a lot of the other tractor brands aren't necessarily made in America either. And um, knowing it had a Yammar diesel engine in it, uh, a diesel engine that I'm somewhat familiar with. I have a little bit of experience with them. Not much, but just enough. So that helped me make my decision. And um, for the price, for what you get, it's, it's hard to beat that deal. I mean, it's you know, I walked out the dealer with a cab tractor and all the implements that I needed, including a grapple, for less than what an open station John Deere tractor and the same horsepower would have cost. So it's just hard to argue that. And then, like I said earlier, it's got almost 300 hours rolling on over two years with that thing now. And it's done everything I've ever asked it to do. It's a 37 horsepower tractor. Oh, now I have the backhoe for it. I found a used backhoe for it. It's an actual RK backhoe. So another guy had an RK 37 hydrostat um, and he didn't want the backhoe anymore. So he sold it. I bought it used 
and the brackets came that that took a while to get those brackets it was like eight or nine months to get those brackets but whatever they came i got them on and uh now i have i have a backhoe and it, it works really well sure beats digging holes by hand I found some rounds today with strange bark inclusions. Too many bush lights. No, not enough bush lights. Does anyone know what size file is used on a half inch pitch chain? Not me. The RK37 is TYM T394 T and they are awesome machines. Wish I could afford to trade up to a cab. 37 T94. I will say this. I got a deal on that cab because... Uh, it had some lot hours on it. What was it? I can't remember how many hours I had on it. It was like maybe 14. I don't know. You'd have to go back and watch like my very first tractor reveal video. I talk about the hours on it then. Um, but they cut money off for the hours and they cut money off for the faded paint on the hood. And it ended up working out. They had a open station. 37 shuttle shift. I got a cab shuttle shift 37. The the tractors were basically the same price. So it made no sense to not get the cab. Um, so it worked out good in my favor. It just happened to be uh, a lucky happy or a lucky coincidence, I guess. Yeah, my John Deere's Yamar power. See? See what I'm saying, Brian the Bears? When it comes down to the tractor, this is the most important part of the engine. They're much tougher machines for size. I, I've been all over that tractor, and it is it is well built. I mean, the uh, the axles are what are super heavy duty. Uh, everything, all the levers, everything, just it's well built. Everything about it is just well built. It seems like a very high quality machine. Now, I don't have any experience like running, I've never run anything else other than like old uh, Ford 8 ends or uh, case, real old case tractors. Uh, I might have ran a couple old Massey Ferguson's. You know, I, I've never run any new John Deere or any new Kubota or anything. So I don't really know what what they're like. Maybe they're Maybe they're much higher quality. I don't know. I just know they're a lot more money. John Deere is green. Yeah, I mean, if we were going to buy tractors based on color, I would definitely own a John Deere. Because green is my favorite color. I can tear them all up. I can too. I try to take it easy. But I'm not real cautious. I don't really think about too much. I mean, I see a log over there. I want to pick it up. I'm like, grab it. Tractor won't pick it up. I caught half of it apart. <laughs> pick it up again. I was beating on it pretty good in the woods yesterday. Using it like a dozer. I had to grapple down. Kind of floating. And open. And I'm mowing. The mower's going behind me. And I'm creeping. And... I think I had it in low fourth gear. That was about the right speed. Four wheel drive. And I'm just like cruising through the woods like a dozer. Pushing brush up in front of me. And I'd get a big pile and I'd have to go up there and cut some of it up. And toss it aside to the trail and then go back to mowing. I had a John Deere lifting a leg like a dog yesterday. I did go to pick up a pallet of wood off my trailer with that thing. They loaded it on with a uh, um, forklift. And I, I went to pick it up with my tractor in it would not do it. It was too much for that bad boy. I like New Holland. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, I don't have anything against any tractors. When when I was first considering a tractor, I obviously looked at John Deere. Um, I almost bought a John Deere years ago. Uh, for uh, instead of when I was buying my zero turn, I'll tell this story. When I was buying my zero turn, I almost bought a John Deere. I think it's a 1025, something like that. It's just a little tractor. And I was going to get it with a loader and a belly mower. And I don't remember what the price was, but it was a lot more money than my zero turn. Anyways, um, they didn't have any special financing. It was all like... I don't remember what the interest rate was, but it was just like, no, <laughs> no, thank you. You know, everybody else had like 0% for however long or this, that, or the other, or, you know, 3.9 for X amount of years. And, and John Deere offered nothing. They're just like, well, this is the price. And if you want to finance it through us and you're going to pay this ridiculous interest rate or whatever it was, I don't, it might not have even been ridiculous, but they didn't have any deals. Like it was like no incentive to buy the thing. So I ended up just buying it zero turn. And then um, when I went to, got serious about tractor, I decided on the size tractor I wanted. I didn't even look at John Deere really. I think I glanced them over a little bit, but you know, I was looking at like Kubota, Massey Ferguson, uh, a buddy of mine had bought a smaller, uh, I think 25 or 28 horse Massey Ferguson. Um, I kind of looked at those. I'm glad I didn't go with that. That is a much smaller tractor. Um, mine is way more capable. Uh, and I've ran his so I can compare them. <laughs> There's no comparison. <laughs> so I'm glad I went with the horsepower I went with. Some days I wish... I mean, there's sometimes I wish I had a bigger... Like a 55... 50 horse but i don't need it that often how is how's outdoor wood burner well it's it's still sitting on the pallet i'm waiting for my concrete to dry i might set it on the concrete tomorrow see what see you guys see you later tym customs keep in touch hollands are nice chalmers and olives if you can find one in 2004 yeah uh this would have been 2012 13 14 somewhere around there 12 13 14 somewhere around there i'd have to look gotta love john deere's dealer support local dealers have all the parts we're gonna have them with a couple of days that's i mean there's a lot to be said for that <clears throat> Do over for me would be Kubota. Zero percent over five years. I might win if I croak first. <laughs> Are you out of here, Mark? If, if so, good night. Takes me a while to get to the comments. Read all the comments. Yeah, I don't know. That's a tough, that's actually a tough question. Like if I, if I won the lottery and money, no object, what tractor would I buy? I'll probably go shopping. I'd probably go look at them all. Test drive them all. I don't have any brand loyalty anymore. Kubota, Kubota has always been great for smaller homesteads for sure. Would you drive an American pink tractor? Sure, why not? I don't have any problem with driving a pink tractor. Can I paint it? <clears throat> yeah, I don't have any brand loyalty. I used to. But then I realized... That's just free advertisement for these companies that make all this money. <laughs> so... Man, somebody's out there getting it. Hmm. 
keep hearing all these noises. All right, what do we got? I don't see any more questions. Bush latte, yes sir. I got some uh, Oktoberfest in the house, but I don't, I don't have a lot of it. No reason for brand loyalties or chain of implementation. Yeah. To that, I mean, <clears throat> I hear John doesn't John Deere have like their own, their own hitch system? You gotta buy into that. My RK will. Look up to anything. I've actually thought about de-branding my tractor. <laughs> Just because it's it's so not important to me. I mean I do like the tractor and I don't have any problems with them other than they don't they literally could care less if you post them on social media and tag tag their products they literally ignore it other than that but they don't make the tractor anything they also need to look at pto rotations and speeds yeah jeremy weaver no free rides proprietary is a, is a word we're looking for good old john deere I don't even know, I'm trying to think of any more implements. I think at some point I probably wouldn't mind having a, a rototiller and a pulse hole digger. But I, that's, that's about it. I, I think I got everything, everything I need. What's on the board behind you? No, oh, I don't have a chipper. That'd be nice. You bring up a good point. A chipper would be real nice. You're talking about this board right here? That is, um, those are my Norlin, genuine Norlin um, sales flyers. I displayed them in this, in, in this board. Of course, they fell down and it didn't work out so well. And those are original, so I don't want to glue or tape them to that cardboard. So I'm just going to put them in individual frames now. But um, I was going to hang this on the wall in the in the man cave, the axe room. But as you can see, it looks like crap. So I, I need to just go buy individual fr I have frames for those now. But that's what I use to make the timeline for... All the Norlin models. If you watch that series, the Norlin axes I did not too long ago. Getting gun would be on the list for me. Is that a thing for implements? I wonder if they make like a gun scabbard. You know, a stump grinder would be nice too. Man, you guys are spending all my money. I would like to have a stunt. Everything like that costs big money, though. It's like, goodness. A man can only have so much. Stump grinder would be handy. Of course, I got the backhoe, so I could, I could dig the stumps out, which I'm going to do. Um, I've got a bunch right out here. I should hook the backhoe up tomorrow and do that. I don't want to start that project because once I dig those stumps out, then I'll have to grade everything and then replant my backyard here, which isn't a huge deal. But was that a mouse? Did you guys see that? That's a mouse. Look at the mouse. No micey micey.
Well then, I guess it'll be time to set the traps again. Did you guys see that? Um, good country living. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, gun scabbard. We got the woodland mill stump grinder and chipper to hook up to the PTO. Nice hydraulic. Oh, look at Nathan in with a late fee. What's about time? We did, we need to coordinate more. If if I'd have known you were live, gonna go live tonight. Cause she said it was last minute decision. I wouldn't have gone live tonight. I would have hung out on your live. Time to spray mint oil. Does that work? I bet that's what all that little noise is I keep hearing. How long, How many times did you guys see that mouse before I saw it? Did you see him? He ran. He like scurried right across here, then up. That's crazy. <laughs> One time. Nathan, I'm drinking the devil's water. This place is probably crawling with mice. Standing on a kitchen chair and screaming. I would have caught him if, if he would have stuck around. I thought he was going to stick around there. I saw his tail poking up there for a minute. I would have grabbed him by the tail. Oh, it just literally went up the ceiling. Ah. What in the world? He just crawled. It must be another one. I don't know. But he went between the... Look. Let's see. He went... He came out of the eave there and went right up in between his crack into the loft. Upstairs. Goodness. There's an infestation. Throw an axe. <laughs> Remember that live where your cat caught the mouse? Yeah. Like mice are a real problem here. Like when we first moved in, I thought we we're gonna have to burn the house down. That's how bad the mice were. Like I seriously was thinking about calling an exterminator. I'd set five traps and come out in the morning. There'd be five dead mice. Like it was, it was crazy. <laughs> Throw an axe. I love that. Took me three times watching it back to see the mouse. <laughs> Tis the season I could have gotten them. I, I'm telling you, I've I've gotten good at catching these damn things. Unfortunately, I don't like it. That tomcat attack gel works real well. I have three cats. I wonder if one of them will come out here and live in the in the barn. I bet my, I bet you Thor, a big boy, but he can't get around. The, the mouse would literally have to walk up to him and be like, okay, I give up. Because Thor's so fat, he'd just be like, get in my belly. I'm not chasing you. But that's the only cat my wife would let me take out of the house. Shoot him with a red rider. That's a good idea, too. Like, if I had a gun in my hand, I would have got him. I would have shot him with my 450 Bushmaster. I don't care. Um, yeah, that's probably not a good idea. Just blow a hole through the roof. So he must he must be getting in through the eaves somewhere. Well, can they crawl at the wall like that? What, they got superpowers? That's a straight vertical wall. Like, there's nothing. It's Oh, it's... Something's going to land on my head. I'm on the lookout now. Play rap music really loud. Don't leave it to five minutes. Sharp nails. Steel wool. Yeah, steel wool. What, what about steel wool? Like, are you being serious? They don't like steel wool? I bet you there's a nest in, like, every drawer in here. 
Have you guys ever seen how many drawers are in this shop? There's hundreds. Time to bait the old traps. I even have traps set. They're just set. What's wrong with these mice? Can I smell? Can't chew through the wool. Oh, good point. So fill the eaves with steel wool? That'd be expensive. I vote for pet snakes. Let them stay warm. Slow the route. Is that like a something on my glasses, or is that a shadow? Must be a shadow. All right, boys. I gotta get off here. I was stuffed a hole with it. Yeah, who knows where the hole is? I have to find that. I think I'm going to bait some uh, traps tonight. Plus, I think my phone's dying. If we're down to 6%. I better get off here. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you in the next, next live. Should be some more videos coming up. Traps are poison. I usually use traps. I want to know they're dead. Sorry. Flamethrower. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you. Thanks. Turn this thing off.